And so anyway, I actually ended that last video because I ran out of space. And what I was trying to say there towards the end and never really got there is um, a month and a half ago or something, I basically just, I did verbalize and say out loud that everyone's faith was dead. And then the next day, Faith was dead. My goat here, Faith, was dead. And, I, and you know, I, it wasn't a coincidence. Then, like I'm questioning that there'd be any hope in continuing really with YouTube, talking to people on YouTube, because it's, it's just a waste. And so, uh, waste of time. Like my words, like having lost hope in my words doing any good and feeling like at this point, you know, something has to be proven physically for anybody to ever hear my words. They're going to have, have to see something, okay? Like the Doubting Thomas generation needs holes to fill and I, I've, I guess I've put it off in a way. Or it just, I guess it, you know, it, I don't know. Just hasn't quite happened yet or something. And, uh, the moths to the flame thing, maybe, maybe that will, will work. But, you know darkness flees from the light so there's just I don't know a paradox or something something I don't know how to put it there's a something weird there you know I've always said that I've said this several times that the more you the more you fight something the more you cause it but uh well, I've been kind of trying to pick a fight with the powers that be with basically every single video I've ever made and ever since the very beginning. I mean, I haven't been bragging. I'm just kind of saying with authority that I have power without trying to step on anybody's toes but you know just saying hey I got the winning hand said it since the beginning on my birthday I proved it and everybody just raked in the chips which that wasn't the point go ahead rake in your chips but n no one was everybody ran from the table and no one was willing to show their hand you know what I mean which were the losing hands or they would have shown it right they had the losing hands I don't know you know at this point it's it's unfortunate that it, it just seems like, yeah, uh, what people have to see is, is not good. It'd be better if everybody was just able to hear and then, then nothing would have to be seen. Like, I know that sounds sad, but, uh. You know, it is actually sad. It's the sad truth. That that's what it's going to end up coming down to. And uh, I've never been worried about it from on my end of the deal. Actually, I'm worried about it on other people's end of the deal. To this degree, to this degree, constantly, like dressed up like my heavenly father, the devil's saying hey why are you even pulling those grapes if you have any faith why what you got looks like you pulled out about 50 grapes there at this point you're you're wanting to say don't you have don't you have faith i'm like and then my heavenly father the real deal there is backing me up the devil is what the devil is and my heavenly father's stepping up to the plate and goes to bat for me and the fact is is I'm pulling the grapes that I like because I'm worried about their faith. 
Not my own. That is the case. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but uh, the ones I love the most are the ones that actually should have the most faith. And, uh, well, they haven't proven that they have any faith. They have Christ. They have the Holy Spirit talking through them, yet still not the faith to pull the weeds and bundle them for the fire before the harvest. Yeah, actually. And I know that there's a lot going on and it's okay that we have some people working the threshing floor at the same time we still got people harvesting the grain and bringing it to the barn and we have people pulling the shaft the, the chaff for the fire it's going to be put the bundled up the chaff from the threshing floor will be separated from the grain and it'll be bundled up and put with the weeds for the fire and some people are getting ahead of the things and a lot of people aren't pulling the weeds and I'm doing my best to pull the weeds but if anybody could even just share do you know how many lives might be saved? Do you re does everybody realize that once I step out of this tongue and mouth thing and we have to go into this physical realm for the weak-minded, that the people who weren't willing to share things ahead of time, they'll instantly collect blood on their hands. That's my, my, my grapes. Actually, see? It's my love for my few grapes. Because I don't want those grapes to have blood on their hands for what might happen. Once I step foot off this property here, really, actually. Do you see? Because going door to door like the Jehovah's Witnesses isn't going to be doing me any more good than this YouTube channel here. Which is worthless. Because... Everybody who watches my videos has no faith. That's why I call them cowards. Even those that I truly love. Cowards. And so, if I would have ever named a buck here, Coward, he'd be my herd sire right now and he'd be getting tons of work, wouldn't he? Because it, I said something bad about faith and she kicked the bucket. I question what, what there was any hope in my words and there's only going to be hope in some kind of physical platform which will always take place but let's not have blood on our hands kind of thing it's always kind of been what I've been trying to say that even the grapes that I've pulled from the wine press will have blood on their hands for not having enough faith to share it the consequences are bad folks not for me. For anybody who doesn't have faith, it's going to be pretty instant. You know, um, the turtle that's crossing the finish line isn't going to get there any faster or slower because of me. But uh, Ezekiel 33, the watchman, 1 through 20. Yeah, you should read that because and try to grasp hold of what's being said there. So yeah, with the power of my own words, I cursed myself, actually, you know, a month and a half ago, two months ago, I said faith was dead, boom, faith was dead, you know, and it's not a coincidence, it's just a sign, I need to watch my tongue, you know, I'm not perfect either. I'm not expecting anyone to be perfect. Have faith our Savior was perfect. That's the miracle of it all. That's bigger than walking on water. It is. That's bigger than the fishes and the loaves. It is. It's even bigger than coming back to life. Dying and coming back to life. It's even bigger than that. 
the biggest thing Christ ever did was walk perfectly. That's the real miracle. Walk, walk in this world perfectly. It's tough. It's hard to do. Uh, and so, praise our Savior for doing that and accomplishing that. He was tempted in all ways. You can't tempt God, so proving he's Christ wasn't God. But he was tempted. I've fallen short of temptations, you know. Of course we all have, but even even recently. Um, be angry but sin not. Uh, well, there's a thin line there. I don't want to judge anybody. I don't want to judge other, others. Definitely don't even want to judge myself, but... I do have to take a little bit of credit on the fact that a goat that I actually loved, she's been a part of my life for, I don't know, nine years or something. Eight, nine years, something. Like I jinxed her, like with my own tongue. I, the power of my own words kind of, I said she was dead, boom, it killed her or something. I don't know. And then turn around and question hope and... You know, she's going into labor when she's not even mm, a month long or something. So, uh, she has a bunch of other symptoms of some other problems. She must have eaten a toxic plant or something. She's, she's um, not in the best of shape. But I do know that she will pull through. She will pull through. Uh, hope is not dead. Hope is not dying. My faith is still here. That goat just died. She just happened to have... You know, actually, when, when that happened, I questioned the names of every kind of... every goat that I've ever had. And the, and the outcomes... and of the, the, the destiny let's say, in which that goat had, based off of their name alone, and the power that that alone, the story that it tells on a person, what you were named, um, it's just, and then w words power of words, how you use those words. I saw the power of my own words, I don't know, years ago. And uh, I don't know if the right word is, it scared me, but it intimidated me to a degree of almost going a decade without talking to the human race. Like, literally, I didn't talk to people whatsoever. <clears throat> These helicopters keep coming in. These military helicopters. Oh, Let's see, here, I see. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out. Too much sunlight. Yeah, they always come in where. All I get is a silhouette and I'm blinded out, but they're usually in two by two formation or two by two by two by two, four by four formation. And they pester me enough for it to be annoying. And uh, so anyway, it's not a coincidence. And the thing about it is, is they'll circle around and do some kind of figure eight kind of formation or butterfly or whatever, where a, a clover, four leaf clover formation, where they cross over the top of me four times before they leave. It's like, give me a break, yo, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm not running, I'm not hiding. 
I even, you know, plan on keeping this GPS thing right here with me so that, you know, they know where I'm at at all times. Right? I'm not playing any disappearing act unless someone starts playing dirty games and then I might have to, but... Or, let's say, like I've been trying to tell you, media isn't going to help me. This phone may not help me. I know my Heavenly Father's going to help me. But help me in, a, in the degree of whatever ends up happening to go down here. Might get shared with everybody. Um, and it may be verbally. If, like, let's say the grid goes down because they don't want anybody sharing anything anymore. I think we're about there, folks. I think we're about there where... Yeah, what we can share is going to be really even more limited to the degree of, well, you're going to have to use your mouth unless you still have an old school telephone that works, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Like maybe these things don't work for a while. It's their last treat, trick or treat. Like this stuff is something that it's the candy that gets taken away from you, you're going to crave it, and you're going to want it back, and you're going to want to do anything to get it back. Craving. That craving. Your digital craving. So anyway, yeah, every time these helicopters fly over, it gets really foggy. Like, and it kind of burns your eyes. And your goats have miscarriages. Oh, and there's no spiders anywhere. And when you used to get like 70, 80 eggs a day from your chickens, and you don't get any eggs ever anymore, look, I can I can sit down and eat like a you know a dozen eggs if I really want to. It still leaves me with like 60 I'm giving to the German Shepherd every day. No eggs. No eggs for weeks on end. Zero eggs. No eggs. Roosters aren't crowing. A rooster mounts his hen. Z his hens. Once, twice, three times a day. All of them. All of them get mounted once a day. I haven't seen a rooster mount a hen in weeks. I haven't seen a hen lay an egg in weeks. My roosters aren't crowing. Just had a miscarriage, you know, um, it's messed up, you know, things are messed up. I mean, I'm not too worried about it. In fact, you know, between my Heavenly Father and I, I tell him just let things be, so I have a sign, so I know. I'm like, I'm surrounded with canaries, <laughs> all right? Put your hand of protection over them if you want, Father, or not if you don't want. They're his. It's his herd. Our, our Savior is the only shepherd that can shepherd the flock. I'm not cut out to shepherd a flock, so I'm, I'm a herdsman. I have a herd. I'm no shepherd. I don't shepherd the flock. Only the slain lamb who has risen, the good shepherd and truly shepherd the flock. So, yeah, it seems like I'm being poisoned. I mean, I don't know if you can tell it, but there's like a foggy haze everywhere here. It wasn't even here when I started the video. I can't smell anything. My eyes burn. So, anyway... Yeah, just a strange bunch of events here going on lately. Signs of the time, I say. Guess that's how it is. So anyway, I'm getting ready to ditch off. I don't know how to say it this way. <clears throat> well, my Heavenly Father said go get these goats. 
He didn't let me know that just about now all my original goats would be dying of old age or whatever. I mean, they're all, you know, they're senior citizens. My original, my original goats are senior citizens at this point. And uh, I don't plan on bringing them along on my trail, which is kind of sad because I know that goats are very emotional creatures. And uh, the fact that I've been in their life every single day of their life for me to not be in their life anymore will be stressful for them but the super old ones they're not going to be making this trip and this german shepherd she's not going to go with me either she's not going to take that too well so she is going to still have her little herd that she loves having her goats and taking care of her goats and she can take care of the old ones that she's always been with but she feeds off of any emotion that I have. So even though I can be angry and maybe not sin, if I get angry, she gets angry. I can't really do much about that. I can't be having that on my hands. So, so my, my girl, she's going to get left behind. I think she knows it. She senses it. So anyway, all... Yeah, I think 30 or 40 goats I can't be bringing with me. They just don't need to be making the trip. They can stay back behind and maybe provide for people here. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, there's been a major, minor, temporary setback. And I think I said something in a video a couple videos about being somewhere on September 13th or at least no sooner than that yeah definitely no sooner than that I'm not setting an exact deadline of being there by then no sooner than that I'll say that right about then would be a good idea it seems so anyway um Yep, just wanted to finish up the chit chat. Sorry for it just kind of being kind of lame, but hey, love you guys. I'll talk to you later.